Hey guys, welcome back to Gaslands TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at doing some salt rusting um, or sugar or whatever you want to use to do some weathering. And I'm going to be using these uh, puzzle models that I got from Ali Express. And uh, there's a bunch of cars here that came in for like 18 bucks or so. So it's not bad. They're not 164 scale they're 184 i think or 187 something like that and uh for this video i'm going to be using four different models and four different methods they're kind of similar but they're different depending on what you uh, want to do and what kind of oops what kind of effect you want to get so first off we're gonna be priming them brown as the base and what's cool about these models is that they come already unassembled so you don't have to drill and open up your hot wheels or whatever uh, the only downside is the scale it's not 164 I wish they would have made these 164 it would have been awesome but they are not so I'm just gonna take the body for now of these cars and because uh, that's what we're gonna be priming and that's what we're gonna be weathering and uh, oh wait a minute these are doors and they're part of the body so we're gonna have to put those in there before priming and uh, that's pretty cool these models have opening doors so that's uh, an interesting little bonus I'm just gonna clip out the extra plastic here that they have to protect it and I'm gonna sand wherever I clipped to make it a little bit more um, soft or smooth and I'm gonna put the door in this is fun opening doors which Hot Wheels would have some of these I mean they do on the expensive ones and stuff but so uh, once they're ready to prime, we're going to prime them in brown. This uh, minivan here had to uh, have the inside put in because the doors actually attach to the inside part. And uh, these ones, they attach to the actual body. So uh, let's go ahead and prime these brown. If you have dark brown or... Oh, nice. My wife just brought me some chicken soup, which is always good because... I'm in Canada and I go prime outside and it's cold, the things I do, but you know, soup is always good. And uh, once you got this primed brown, you're gonna use some orange or dark brown or coffee. I got some coffee color here or antique wax color, uh, just orange, pumpkin orange would work fine. And you're gonna just use a sponge, whichever side you like, the yellow or the green side. And uh, I'm gonna use the cover here since there's a bunch of paint so put a little bit on the sponge and uh, then maybe wipe some off your Christmas napkin and make sure that it's not too much on the sponge and then you could go ahead and sponge some on the body try not to uh, wipe the sponge just make sure you're tapping it uh, when you wipe it just makes it like very streaky and not the effect you want so just make sure you're tapping instead of uh, wiping. I'm gonna put a little bit more here on the sponge, tap it on the napkin, get some excess paint off, and then start dabbing on the brown covered car here. So basically what you're doing is resting the entire car. Just basically look, making it look all rusty and everything. And uh, once the orange is done, we're going to put some, some darker brown here. It's always good when you're rusting to have a few different colors of rust, like orange, dark brown, light brown. So doing this, you already have three colors. You got the orange, the dark brown, and the light brown primer. So I'm just going to tap a little bit of this. I don't want to put too much of the dark one. And I'm going to do that a little bit everywhere on the car here. And uh, that's going to be the basically the underneath of the paint, which is going to be cool because it's going to give a 3D effect. And now it's time for the salting. Now, because these are smaller scale cars, I'm using smaller grains, but you could use like uh, pretzel uh, salt or, or sugar or things that are a bit bigger or uh, thicker, like almost more uh, like uh, sea salt or something like that. But for these smaller cars, I'm going to try to use this... Uh, the sugar here or salt I don't remember which one I used but and I'm just gonna put some a little bit everywhere on the car so so that it's you know 
sticking a little bit. If it's not sticking, you could just wet your gloves or your fingers a little bit before and it's gonna stick to the car or uh, use a brush and wet wherever you want to rust on the car and then drop the salt or sugar on the wet part so that it sticks. So now I'm gonna do a different method here. Uh, we could use uh, sticker paper which is uh, what I use for my Etsy orders or uh, just regular paper. Now this is uh, yellow paper. It's the only one I could find in the house but when you tear it it does a nice little edge here and that's what we're going to be using to outline the rust at the bottom of the car so all you got to do is rip a piece of paper dump it in water so that it's wet and then put it at the bottom of your car and that's gonna stick hopefully and we'll see how that turns out once we prime over with a color so and tear out a little piece here to do the back part the back fender and wet that make sure that it's really wet so that it sticks very well and I'm gonna do another strip here for the front bumper so you get the idea right you just strip some paper and go around the bottom part of the car and if you want uh, you can even do the roof I'm going to probably put a little piece of paper on the roof there. So the water should be holding the paper in place. Um, make a nice big one in the back here so that it's going to be really rusted in the back. And also, if, if it's not sticking, use your paintbrush with some water and just go over here. And it's going to re-stick it back to the body of the car. And uh, don't use glue because we have to remove this paper afterwards. So see, I put a bit on top there. And once I've done with the paper, I'm just going to throw again some salt a little bit everywhere on the car. And I'm going to do the same thing with uh, this label sticker. So if you have label stickers that printed wrong or the wrong address on them or whatever, you could use that same method. You just rip it and it's probably going to stick easier to the car since it already has adhesive on it. But uh, you want to make sure that it really sticks well. So again, with some water and, and the paintbrush, um, just go along the edges here and you're going to have a nice little outline of where you want the rust to be. Make sure it sticks all around and just throw some salt or sugar on top of the car. Now, uh, I'm going to use tape for the last method. Again, guys, this is the first time I'm doing this so I just wanted to try four different ways and uh, I have no idea how these are gonna come out so it's gonna be a surprise at the end as much for you as it is for me uh, I don't think the tape is gonna be very good it's gonna be like a really straight cut right so it's gonna look like oh what's this mm, some coffee with my boy Iron Man I got this cup I just got it and I'm super excited always using it um, yeah so back to the modeling so these are all done right now they have the uh, the sugar and everything on it and we're gonna prime them again with the color of the car you want now I'm gonna use this blue here because I think it shows off the rust a lot more and once it's primed you could uh, dry it in these uh, nail dryer machines that you're wife has or someone in your household oops a little bit of paint here my wife is going to kill me but uh, what can you do we uh, need to model some cars here don't have time to wait for these things to dry so uh, with with a scraper here or a filer you're just gonna take off some of the salt or sugar and that's gonna expose the uh, rust underneath now I should have waited for this to dry more maybe a lot more maybe overnight because uh, as you can tell the paint is still a little bit wet and fresh but it doesn't matter here I'm uh, impatient and I really want to see how this is going to turn out so up to you if you have time let it dry make sure it dries really well or if you're like me just uh, scrape off whatever you can and you're still going to get a pretty uh, good weathered looking car and I'm just going to pick out a bit with my finger here 
take out a little bit of the extra salt that gets stuck in the little holes like the lights and the bumpers and the grills and just get all that salt as much salt as you can and uh, let's see uh, with this one now this is the thing with the sticker sticker paper I'm just gonna remove the bottom part it does a nice little it's not super straight which is good and what's cool is that it gives a little bit of a like a 3d look to the paint like you could paint this on top of a color but this method makes it look like the paint was on top of the rust it has a little bit of a you know a 3d look to it so it's it's much more realistic and uh, now i'm just going to try to remove as much as i can very lightly passing my finger removing the salt and the sugar off of the car and uh, next up is the uh, tape which is not my favorite method guys to be honest it's it's too straight and uh, you know you could i mean you could use something to scrape off so that it's not as straight but this looks like a like a two-tone car right now right like rust doesn't rust in a straight line like that so uh, yeah tape is not the best method and um, you could try to fix it up with the filer here but it's not my favorite and finally we have the wet paper method so let's see how that works out and uh, because it's paper and it's wet it kind of becomes really sticky and gluey but i think once you get a hang of removing this it should give a really nice little rust underneath and because you when you when you primer with the the, your, the color of the car it's putting like quite a few coats so it's really thick on there and when you take out the paper it really looks like the rust is underneath that color which is why I think a few people use this method so that it's just a little bit more realistic the rust is you know it's a layer that's underneath the car put some paper here on the roof I'm gonna remove that that looks pretty good already and just with my finger I'm gonna remove a few of the uh, salt grains here It's looking pretty good I mean it's not a straight rust like the scotch tape would do and uh, so these are the four methods they're I mean pretty pretty close again I didn't wait for it to dry properly I was impatient but if you wait overnight I think uh, yeah the salt is gonna come out much cleaner and much better and reveal a bit of the rust underneath so now let's go see what other parts come with this car so we've got the axles there you don't want to lose those and this is the glass and uh, even the lights also come separately that's pretty cool I'll probably put just one light in the this this car make it look like there's an air intake in the front or something uh, they're really small kind of hard to put in there but I'm gonna put one and I'm gonna use my filer to stick it in the hole there and now I'm going to put the glass and the interior just to see how it looks. That's uh, pretty cool. Looks a little bit uh, weathered like. The door opens. I'm having a hard time putting it in here. It's not closing properly. But um, yeah, the windows were, were way too clean, right? The, the car is all weathered and everything. And then it has like brand new windows. So you don't want that. So let's dirty these windows up. I'm gonna use some tape here in the front and the windshield because I want to do like those dirty triangles that you get from windshield washers and uh, so basically you put tape there and with a knife I'm gonna kind of outline where the windshield washer would pass and then I'll take out the tape those little triangles at the top and at the bottom of the windshield that the windshield wipers can't get to so I wanted to do something like like those triangles here so 
cut out the outline and then take out the tape. The problem with doing that is you're gonna cut the window <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna learn that the hard way and uh, you just learned that the easy way by watching the video. So just put some brown on your paintbrush, wet the paintbrush, make sure it's like watery and that's how you could dirty up your windows, just watery brown. That's gonna dry up looking like sand on the window, all dirty and stuff. And uh, happy little accident with the cutting of the windows, they actually look like cracks. So if you want to make cracks in your window, just use a cutting knife, hobby knife and make some cracks on the window. So I think I just put a bit more uh, paint because it's too liquidy. If it's too liquidy, it's going to dry and it's not going to show. And what you could do is if it's too liquidy and there's a lot of water, use the sponge to remove some of the water. It's still going to leave a little bit of a texture there on the window. So it's going to be nice and dirty. Just removing the excess water. Put some extra paint and then again, remove the excess. And that's an easy way to dirty up some windows. And now it's time to remove the tape and see how it came out. Probably not the way I wanted it to come out. I mean, in my head, that looked pretty good doing that method. But then I realized there's a bunch of cuts and the windows all cracked and everything. So it's probably easier to do by hand and just, you know, eyeball the dirt and eyeball where the windshield would be. Or maybe just dirty the whole thing and then with a with a q-tip clean the window off where the windshield would wipers would go you know so uh, there you go you got some dirty windows quick and easy cracked window in the front because you know i used a hobby knife on it and uh, i'm gonna put back the inside here now if you want to go into detail you could paint the inside and everything and i mean i'm not gonna do that right now i just want to show how to weather the body of the car I mean, uh, I could use a black sharpie to do the steering wheel and a few of the, uh, you know, those back speakers, or put a little bit of some accents in the in the car with with a sharpie. And uh, I'm gonna snap that in. So now, uh, time to do the tires here. These are cool. They're little. They come with like little rubber rings that you can put around the mag. And um, maybe I should have painted them before assembling, but gonna I was too excited to put this rubber on the mag actually and fits really well and then they put the axle here and the other tire the axle looks really long but if you squeeze the tires together it actually fits and it fits and the tires roll and everything they look like brand new tires so we're gonna have to fix that and easiest way is brown paint water and just go all over the tires and dirty the hell out of the tires maybe even dirty the bottom of the car because that's way too clean some brown and some water maybe put some in the back of the tires where the where it would be splashing some sand and i had some extra paint so i'm just gonna go in there and throw some sand inside maybe it's uh you know an abandoned car or something piece of terrain for uh, war gaming or gaslands or any other modeling you're doing and uh, so now the tires are a bit bland right so I'm gonna use this metallic crayon I really love this thing and uh, I suggest uh, that you get one and I'm gonna use it just to like put a few dots on the mags to make it look like I don't know, more metallic than they actually are. But the reason I really like this this pen here is also to chip off paint off of a car that you're working on. For example, here I'm going to do the roof a little bit. Just, you know, if you do a few points and a few lines on where on the edges of the car. And that's that already looks like, you know, paint coming off. Along the, uh, the fender here, 
around the tires. Really quick and easy way to chip off paint or make it look like it's been chipped off is this silver pen here. And you could also use silver paint with a brush and everything, but I mean, this does the job pretty well. And I wish there was a, a thin one, a more pointy one, because this one's a little bit thick. It's hard to get into the little edges. And uh, check this out. Look how fast you could do the uh, little details under the car with this pen. It's really, uh, yeah, one of my favorite tools here when I'm doing some cars. And it really just highlights a few of the little pipes and exhausts and stuff that are under, under the car here. And it adds a little bit of detail, you know, so if your car explodes or crashes and you have to turn it over, the other players are still going to see some detail. I mean, that's that looks pretty clean, but um, you could dirty it up again with some water and brown. And, Get that back to looking weathered and uh, so here I'm gonna do the uh, the dirty window by hand and uh, try to do those little triangles on the windshield wipers again this is not pure brown it's brown and water and that looks okay so here yeah, for the inside of this car let's just do a few details with a sharpie just in case, you know, someone looks inside the car or whatever. These doors open, so you might get to one of those guys that comes in and starts looking at your model and opening doors and stuff. Again, uh, this video is more for weathering, not for an entire tutorial. So if you have time, do the inside of the car as detailed as you want. And uh, I'm just going to use a Sharpie here. Make it nice and easy. And you could get colored Sharpies too that you could do the seats, different colors and stuff. I'm going to do the, the back speakers here because they're probably going to show from the back window. And uh, yeah, nothing, uh, nothing too major in the inside of the car. And uh, since the doors are out, I'm just going to throw some sand in there. Again, dirty it up. And I'm going to dirty up these tires. They're a bit small, right? Don't they look too small for this car? Maybe like one millimeter more would have done the trick. And again, with the silver pen here, I'm just going to chip off some paint along the edges. Maybe the, the top here around the windshield. Front bumper obviously gets paint chipped off and uh, now we're gonna use some red to splatter blood all over the cars no just kidding we're gonna do the backlights and uh, make it a little bit more realistic you know just a little bit of detail there and uh, not the best paint job there you could dirty them up or put a varnish on it to make it look more glassy but um, now if you if you have time and you have some some orange paint and uh, you could go with a brush and just do some actual rusting in different areas that you want to highlight that is rusted maybe up here you want to put a bit of more rust on, on top of the paint so maybe the, the paint got rusted not just the underside of the car put little dots of of, uh, of rust in different areas that you think might be uh, rusted and then um, what you could do with your finger is make a fingerprint and sign your rust there you go just tap the rust and it uh, it looks pretty good because a big blodge of orange isn't the best it's like it's too fake kind of but as soon as you tap it with your finger you get your fingerprint texture on there and it looks a bit more realistic so just put some orange and then tap it with your finger and that's going to give a nice little rust spot now i'm going to put a little bit over here on the roof of the car just a few spots and stuff but when you dab it with your finger it gives it a nice little texture and it highlights more of the rust and I'm going to put some down here. 
And I'm gonna use my finger again, but it's going in those cracks and my finger can't really reach there, so I'll try to wipe it off, maybe a sponge or something, or uh, put more and then dab more in it. Maybe it's a really, really rusted spot. And that's okay, because they're supposed to be weathered cars, right? They're supposed to be rusted and stuff, so. And, uh, I mean, you know, you could go ahead and spend some time on these and put a bit more rust, a little bit everywhere. Maybe here, just dab it with your finger and you've done some rust. And uh, that's the bottom of the cars with this amazing pen. If you wanted to see what it looks like, the metallic craftwork pen. You can get that probably on Amazon or something. And uh, that's it. That's how I did these weathered cars using salt methods. I used four different methods to uh, do the bottom of the car. And uh, whichever one you want to choose, go for it. They all worked pretty well. And in my next video, I'm going to be turning these cars into Gaslands cars. So Mad Max style, I'm going to put some guns on these, some rams, and uh, make them look a little bit more playable. And if you do play Gaslands and if you're looking for dice and uh, gates and other stuff, you can buy it on our Etsy page, which uh, supports the channel. It supports our work. Um, it supports the 3D artists that did these. Everybody gets a cut from whatever you buy and you get a cool container full of stuff for you to modify your car with. Uh, we got even flames, um, EMPs, we've even added police lights and police bumpers uh, recently, so go check that out and join us on Facebook. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for the next video where we're going to get Gaslands up these cars. We're also on Instagram at TV, and uh, also on TikTok. I'll see you soon.